Hello friends, this is Chirodip once again and you're watching Code Java tutorial series. In this tutorial, uh, I, we're gonna learn about static initialization block, that is SIB block. So, what is static initialization block? Firstly, it is a block that is uh, named as static and no, no other thing will be mentioned here and one opening bracket and one closing bracket. So this is a static initialization block. It will be first loaded into the memory, then the main method will be loaded, and then the main method will execute. So this is the ground rule of static initialization block. As you can see, I have defined one static initialization block that is static, opening parenthesis and closing parenthesis, and I have printed SIB. So SIB is getting printed firstly, then the main method will be executing, and then main will be printing. Now moving to the next class, as you can see that I have defined main method first and then static, but no matter whatever way you declare, static, static initialization block will be loaded firstly into the memory, then the main method, and the loading will be top to bottom wise. So here only static method is, one static method is declared, so first SIB will be printing and then the main method. As you can see, I have run this program and the output is SIB and main. As I am telling you that the static block is like first loading into the memory then main method and here also I have de defined one global variable static integer i equals to 0 then main method main equals to i I am printing main plus i so this value will be the the value of this and I am calling static block uh, static initialization block here I am printing plus i so i will be printing 0 and then i is getting modified by 100 and then main method is calling then 100 will be printing so as because static initialization block is first loaded into the memory so this this line will print 0 and this line will uh, execute the value the reinitialization will happen in this line and i is getting reinitialized by 100 and then it will be getting the print from main so as you can see sib equals to 0 first sib block is uh, executing then i is getting reinitialized by 100 then main method is executing so the main method value will be 100 now moving to the next class uh, as you can see that this is a public class e i have defined one global variable here static int i equals to 10 and one both are uh, the static block th and as I am telling you that the static initialization block will be executed from top to bottom so first it will execute this block then this block then the main method so first it will print 10 as the it is initialized by 10 so 10 and it will modify i value as 20 then it will print 20 then again the modification will happen and it will be modified again by 30 then the main method will print so the value will be first 10 then 20 then 30 and it will be you will be getting sib1 as 10 sib2 as 20 and main method as 30 pretty in, pretty simple and pretty interesting now moving to the next program as you can see that I have defined one static integer i that is a global variable and I'm trying to print that variable from static initialization block. So as you can see that while using global variable inside SIB, the order should be followed. They should be initialized before usage as because static initialization block is first loaded into the memory. When it is loading into the memory, it's not getting the value of i, it's not recognizing the variable i. So it, it, it will show compilation error and if you declare this from this method this static um, this static uh, variable declaration before the static block and suppose you have declared this before the static block then the program will compile successfully as because all the static methods and block will be loading firstly into the memory so uh, in this in this scenario it will know it will get to know the variable i and it will print successfully but in this scenario it will not recognize the variable i and it will show compilation error so you can see that 
extremis exception in thread mean the Java unresolved compilation problem. So it will show the compilation error. So in order to achieve compilation successfully, you have to declare all the global variables before static block and after that only static block will be declared. Now moving to the next class, I have defined one class here, class G and right now I am defining the global variable first line into the class and then I am using main, I am calling main method as null value and I am reinitializing i as 10. So what will be happening here? As you can see the main is getting 0 and then main is printing 10. As because static initialization block is first loaded into the memory so it will call main method and null argument will be there. So as it is calling null argument and it will uh, initialize i as 0 the default value if not change then again it will uh, it will revert back to this and i is getting modified by 10 then main method will be loaded into the memory and in after loading the main method i is getting the value as 10 as it was modified in the static initialization block so it will be getting main as 10 so this is for the sib block more uh, more interesting example of SIB block are yet to come so watch the video carefully and thanks for watching have a nice day